So from here, we're actually going to rebuild the view that we did before this view. We're going to use the contextual filter to grab the node ID from the URL, and we're going to display a field that displays the rendered product entity. So now this sounds a little confusing, but what we're doing is creating a list of products that reference over to the review, and then the review references over back to the product, and that's the field that we display. It's a little convoluted, but it works, and it works consistently. So our next step is adding a contextual filter. So I'll click Add, and we're going to search for NID, and we'll check NID. Again, this is what we're going to pull out of the URL. Now, because this isn't an argument at the end of the URL, we need to provide a default value, and that default value is going to be the content ID from URL. Content ID is the same as NID in this case. Now, the difference here is that we're going to fill this out. There is this new relationship entry here, and it says do not use a relationship, which means that if we didn't, we'd be using the contextual filter on our initial product nodes, which we don't want. We want our review to have the contextual filter rather than our product. So in order to do that, we have to say that we're using the relationship. So I'm going to select referencing review node. If we didn't add this relationship, what it would do is find the node ID in the URL, which is gonna be that 10 or 11, which are the node IDs to our review pages. And then it would try to filter out our products based on that node ID. But our products are actually different nodes than the reviews so it wouldn't find any matches. But now that we've established a relationship to the review, we can check against the review and use the filters against that instead of the product, which our view is based off of. So now that we have our contextual filter, we'll go ahead and click Apply All Displays. And at this point, our view should be functional. So let's test it out. I'm scrolling down to our preview, and just like before, I'm gonna enter in 10 into our contextual filter input and select Update Preview, and I'll scroll down, and we have Useless Box Kit. Okay, so this is a little bit different because what we're seeing is the title of our product rather than the title of our review. Our review would say Review of Useless Box Kit instead of just Useless Box Kit. That's fine for now because we're going to actually select a different field, the field that points back to the product and displays it as the full rendered entity. And just for kicks, let's try 11, inside of here, which should point to our unicorn meat. And I'll click Update Preview, and you see we have Canned Unicorn Meat. Okay, great. 